guys, Karma Medic here, and welcome back to another dose. In today's video, I'm extremely excited because I finally got the iPhone 12 Pro Max in Pacific Blue here in my room. It came today in the mail. It looks absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait to give you guys my first impressions of it. Quick disclaimer, this is not going to be an in-depth and technical review of this phone. I'm just a regular dude who loves tech. I've just unboxed this, and I want to give you guys my first impressions. Now the first thing that I've noticed about this phone and probably what a lot of you are wondering about, what I was definitely concerned about is, is this phone too big? Now personally, I've got quite large hands and you know, going through the setup menus on this phone and using it very briefly now, I honestly don't think it is. Just to demonstrate, I can reach the bottom left, bottom right and top right corners quite easily. But then when it comes to reaching the top left, it is a little bit more difficult, requires a bit more of an adjustment with my hands in order to get all the way up there. It's not the case that I was scared of where I would constantly need two fingers or two hands to move around the phone. I'm actually quite happy with the fact that I can get around most of the screen with just my thumb. Also the shiny sides of the phone already you can see are picking up so many fingerprints. This phone is going to be very difficult to keep clean. And when I first saw the shiny sides in the Apple store, it was such a put off for me. I honestly didn't like what they looked like at all, especially given how dirty they got so quickly. But because I always keep a phone in a case, just like my iPhone 8, it's completely impeccable because it's been in a case for the last three years. Of course, that case has gotten quite dirty now, but it's time to move on. But honestly, this blue color has grown on me quite a bit. I'm actually quite a fan now. It does look a little bit light. It's not a very deep blue, which I think looks a lot better than the standard iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini color. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with the aesthetic of the phone. The phone feels extremely nice in the hand. It feels solid, it feels premium. It's heavy and it has that heft to it. So it really does feel like an expensive piece of jewelry that I have in front of me. Now coming from an iPhone 8 and moving to this phone, I'm really mostly excited about three main things. The camera, the battery, and the bigger screen. I'm so excited to see what this three camera system has to offer. From all of the reviews that I've watched online, it looks amazing. I'm gonna do a quick camera test right now, see what it's all about. I mean, yeah, this is absolutely night and day. And then with the wide angle mode as well, it's absolutely brilliant. If you follow this channel, then you know that I upload quite frequently to my Instagram page at Karma Medic. And usually I haven't minded posting low quality photos on that page that I've taken with my iPhone 8 in low lighting or using the front facing camera. But I'm just excited to not have to worry about that anymore. I know that anytime I take a photo with this, whether it's the front or back facing camera, it's gonna come out looking really, really clean. Having a bigger screen is something that was very important to me with this upgrade. It's one of the main reasons that I upgraded to the bigger phone. I wanted to have something bigger when watching videos in the kitchen or in the shower or commuting. I've been watching things on the iPhone 8 for the last three years and I have felt like it's a bit too small, especially in comparison to a lot of my friends and other members of my family who have moved on to the bigger phones. So the last thing I'm really excited about is the battery life of this phone. I've already watched the tests, I've seen the reviews, the battery life is amazing. With this iPhone 8, I would always have to charge it somewhere between 1 to 3 p.m. in the afternoon and then again at like 7, 8, 9 p.m. at night. So not running out of battery and having a full day and even more of battery with this new phone is gonna be amazing. And all right, I think those are the three main things that I wanna talk about with this phone and just get to show you guys what the new color looks like, what it feels like. I'm gonna be filming an entire day in the life of a medical student using just this phone very soon. If you're interested in that, please do leave a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel to get notified when that goes live. I wanted to keep this video very short, very sweet and give you my first initial impressions of what handling this phone feels like and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Now you guys might think this is massive overkill, but I'm gonna put on my screen. <laughs> All right, and now that this video is over, I'm gonna give it a nice clean and wipe down using a microfiber cloth and throw it straight into the case. Not going to be to be an in to be an in depth. This is not going to be an in to be an in. Not going to be an in depth. To be an in depth. Going to be an in depth. Going to be an in depth. To be an in depth and technical. Going to be a to be an in depth and not going to be an in be an in depth and technical. Going to be an in depth. Not going to be an in depth.